So we are going to learn MLA format for English One Hero. Um, so we're going to start with the formatting. We've already, we've, we, I've got a screencast on this that you need to do MLA style. Should be um, double spaced, 12 point font, Times New Roman, Roman, and then leave one space after punctuation. All margins should be one inch and indent the first line of paragraphs um, one half inch which is really just one tab and here's the link to that screencast on how to do that and this is what the heading and the header looks like um, this right here is the heading and it is only on the first page your name your teacher's name your class and your date um, it's all double spaced your header is up at the top right with your last name and the page number and in that screencast I show you how to insert that page number you center your title and then you align back left tab one over and start your indention for your paragraphs for in-text citation you can use a direct quote using the author's name in the sentence and then you only need to list the um, page number in the parentheses. So, for example, Wordsworth stated that in Romantic Poetry, that Romantic Poetry was marked by, and the quotation marks, this is the quote, sp a spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings, in quotation marks, space, parentheses, page number, close parentheses, and a period. This is the author's name. This is the page number, and that directly corresponds to the item in the work cited, which is the author's last name, first comma, first name, period, title of the book, period, publisher, and the publication date, and a period. Um, here's an, the same example, but with the author's name inside the parentheses. Romantic poetry is characterized by the quotation marks, spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings in quotation marks, and then um, it's Wordsworth space 263. Notice there's no P, no comma, and there's closed parentheses and a period. The period goes outside the parentheses. If you are paraphrasing and not and using the name of the author in the sentence, here's the example Wordsworth extensively explored the role of emotion in cr the creative process, and that's on page 263 in parentheses and then a period. Again, each of these corresponds with this works cited entry. This is the explanation over here. So when you gather your citation for your works cited page, you need the author, the title of the source, title of container, any other contributions that might be listed, and then the publisher, publication date, and location if necessary, for example, online. This is the MLA style guide. 